I just think it's silly, you know, like, <laughs> like everything about science. You guys, I mean, shoot, there's rocket ships on the side of the highway here. You guys remember? Yeah. I saw them. <laughs> you guys, so you guys are educated. You know, like, you remember back in the 1960s when John F. Kennedy invented space or whatever? <laughs> right? You know what I'm talking about. Everybody else was just looking up in the sky like, I see a Big Dipper, I see a kitty cat, I see a gladiator. And he's like, man, this is ridiculous. We have brilliant people in this world. They're called rocket scientists. We're going to get them all together in one room and go figure out how to go check all that stuff out. Go to the moon and look at you, whatever. <laughs> so he got them all together, right? They didn't think their, their thought process. They didn't, go, they didn't think it all the way through because look what happened. He gets them all together. He goes, all right, you guys are the smartest people in the world. Check it out. We want to figure out a way to go into outer space. What do we need? They're like, first off, we're going to need a rocket ship. Write a check, billion dollars. Pow, there's a rocket ship. Here's what they didn't think it through. They built the ship. Then I guess they're like, all right, we got the ship. Now, when do y'all get in there? <laughs> and those dudes are like, I ain't getting in that thing. They're like, well, now what are we supposed to do? And one of the most brilliant minds in the world came up with, stick a monkey in there. <laughs> and they're like, well, you're the rocket scientist. A monkey. They came up with a monkey? A freaking monkey. Not even some idiot they stole off the side of the street. A monkey. A, a, a monkey. Have you been to the zoo? <laughs> ha! Yeah, let's fire him into outer space. That guy looks like he'll teach us something. Yeah, his name was Coco or something, and they tricked him in there with Diet Pepsis and Skittles or something. I don't know how they got him in there. <laughs> but I guess before takeoff, PETA found out about it because the monkey had a helmet on his head. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's how it happened. We took a monkey with a helmet on his head and we fired him into outer space so he can come back and teach us about everything he learned. <laughs> all right, first of all, <laughs> why does a monkey need a helmet? If a monkey hits his head on something, he just becomes more monkey. <laughs> Welcome back from outer space, monkey. Tell us everything you learned. <laughs> oh, Frank, he must have hit his head on something. I can't understand anything he said. <laughs> and second of all, every time I see an astronaut on TV, astronauts are cocky. If you're an astronaut, knock it off. You're doing a monkey's job. <laughs> That's right. You're second string to Coco. Then the Russians are making fun of us. Stupid American shoot the monkey into space. They fired a freaking dog in outer space. What does that even look like? The rocket ship's taking off, the windows open on the side, the dog's head's hanging out. It's stupid. Science is silly, man.